guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. I'm going to tell you a wee dry fly. Uh, it's not often I get the chance to tie dry flies because everybody's usually asking for salmon and sea trout and wet Irish lock flies, but I love tying dry flies. They're a work of art. So this is my wee palmino caddis pattern and I want to show you how to how to put it together. It's dead easy. You'll sit and knock a half a dozen of these up in no time at all. Now, I'm going to tie it on a size 12. This is a size 12. Um, Camazon B170. The thread I'm going to use to tie the fly is the Uni 380 in dark brown. So we're just going to come in a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. We'll just get our thread started. So we're just working our thread down. Just sort of wait until we meet the point of the hook. Now you've still got the tension on your thread, so if you don't want to cut it away, just bring it off, just pop it off to the ground. Thread's well tied in. Now the body, I'm going to use a, an Opal Mirage, this is a medium. The UTC stuff, or you could use the, the Vanyard Pearl tinsel, if you wish. Now, I'm just going to catch the Opal Mirage in. I'm just going to work the thread back until I let my thread go and I'm in line with the, the barb of the hook. Then just work our thread forward. Then we'll just come up with our opal mirage. Now you can put some varnish or super glue on at this point. Just on the on the thread before you bring up your Opal Mirage tinsel, if you like. Just to there. Find this around with our thread. Just make sure you leave yourself a good 2 to 3 mil at the top of this. And tie this fly. Now, for the extended body, rather than using like a, a suede or a chenille, this is just a strip of brown foam that I've cut from a sheet. I'll just show you the sheet. It's up there. I get this out of the, the hobby craft store and honestly I think you get about 12 sheets for about 2 quid so that's £2 sterling for anybody that's not from Belfast now, all I do is then just take it and just roll it in between my, my finger and thumb now, I'm going to light the end of this but if you're younger than the age of 16 you're doing this in the house, make sure you don't set the house alight. And before I light it, I'll just lick my fingers. Get it light, light her up. And then you're just looking to put that nice fine point in the end of the foam. That's just going to stop the, the deterioration in the foam for you a bit. Now, I'm a wee bit already off here, but I've already done. So I want the foam, and I want it coming over the back of the hook. I want to be way up here. You want it over the back of this wee fly. Now, just pinch it on top, come round and just put the thread, try and show you this, just put the thread in between your finger and thumb and then just draw the thread down. That's a pinching loop. And then just get a nice few tight turns in just to tighten up onto the foam. Come in and just clip that away. Now, come down over your cut end to the eye of the hook and then back up. At this point I'm going to put on some uh, cinnamon. It's got wee flax of UV through it, dubbing. So just dub that on to your thread. Always remember just taking your using your finger and thumb and going the one way. And just come back up onto the thumb a wee bit. That'll get it to, to kick up for you. Anything that wants to go forward to the eye, just sweep it back so your thread's ready at the eye of the hook. And then just work your thread back up. It's looking nice. Now at this point, I'm going to get two dark cinnamon CDC feathers. I dye this myself, so this is just the, the natural. Sorry, the, the white domestic CDC. 
and you just dye it yourself and you get, it's great because you can dye it all different colours so that's it there you just stick it in the dyeing pot and dye it up now two fillers here so just get them lined up the tips just bring back all the rubbish that you don't want now you don't want these longer well, I don't tie it longer than about two mil less the length of the the foam body so just pinch this on top come around with a pinching loop a couple of tight turns and then you can come in and trim away the waste at this point just take another turn, another two turns just to tighten up, bring your thread to the eye of the hook and then just build your thread up from the front just over the cut ends of the CDC and we're looking the business next I'm just going to put on a wee drop of deer hair this is just some deer hair that has been dyed a golden olive so I'm just going to take off a just take off a pinch. Now, I showed you in one of the videos in relation to bucktail. Always cut your, your deer hair right down at the root, and then that'll allow you to get back in and use up your 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 full patch. Now, just what I do here is just twist the deer hair, take out any of the, the under fur, then we're gonna take our hair stagger. Place the deer hair into the, the hair stagger and then we'll give us a rattle. Open up your stagger and your tips of your deer hair should be lined up. Now I just want the, the tips of the deer hair just slightly longer, just slightly longer than the, the CDC. Now just pinch it on top, come around with a pinch and loop take a couple of turns now, see at this point just lift some of your deer hair and just take a turn through down until you meet the eye, now don't worry ever some around the other side just come in and lift all that up get a couple of nice tight turns in, now keep your thread tight here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some dubbing at the head and this is just the SLF and brown it's nice and tight bring your thread in front of the dummy keeping your thread tight just come straight in with your your whip finishing tool throw in a whip finish put your thread nice and tight come in trim away your hand thread now just collect all your cut ends of your deer hair you may get one or two that has been around the side but it's ground. Just bring everything forward. The cut ends of the eye. And then what I like to do is just lift everything up and take the angle of the wing of the deer hair and just trim it. And that will blend in. But there you go. That's just a maybe palmino caddis pattern and it's always worked for me. Um, we stray one there, take that away. It's always worked for me on the on the locks, so it's well worth tying up. And the best thing about it is here, it's going to be really high floating this because of the foam and stuff. But once the foam disintegrates, you've still got a fly that's going to sit in the surface film for you. Um, and it's, it's it's a good fly that I've taken some nice brown trout on that fly. So look. Like, Tie a few of those up guys for your box, it's always well worth having some dry flies in the box and uh, it's just a wee favour there, it's just annoying me, I'll take that away. So like I say, tie a few up and I'll see you on the next one.